This video was sponsored by One Nest Studios. Elevate your sound. If you're looking for a studio that is reasonably priced to record your music, podcasts, etc., then you cannot go wrong with One Nest Studios. Contact the number down below or the email address or visit their website for more details. Thank you. Hi, this is my video on the SP Gadget Remote Pole 39 inch. Now, this is strictly a action pole for action sports and that. You can use it as a regular um, pole, but it's mainly used for that. The unique thing with this pole is that you can, if you buy the accessories, you can buy a phone mount for it from SP Gadgets and also a Bluetooth remote uh, for it to store on the Bluetooth remote unit that it has on there. Now I'll go around the quickly go around the box. As you can see, it has little windows there to show you what the actual pole is. Uh, on the side here, it says um, smart mount system, telescopic pole. This particular pole uses a kind of twist lock motion to lock it in. Um, direct GoPro attachment, 360 degree swivel head. So it has up here a swivel head, but we'll get to that later on. And on the side here, it just shows you how to unlock and lock the pole. So it has a clockwise motion to lock it and anti-clockwise to release it. And just basically little bits about the pole on the back and the accessories that you can fit on there. Now, this is what you get in the box. We have a little leaflet that shows other products from SB Gadget to do with either GoPro or action camera stuff. So we get one of them in the box. We also get a little leaflet just describing the pole and the attachments that you get um, with this pole. So you get one of them. We get a spanner from SB Gadgets, which is made out of plastic, which is suitable for the GoPro style thumb screw that we got here. So that, so you can lock down your GoPro or action camera on its mount and that fits in there like that. So that's the spanner. We get a thumb screw from SB Gadgets. And then we get a lanyard from SB Gadgets here with their logo and name all over it, along with a wrist adjustment here as well. And a simple loop fastening system here to attach the lanyard. And next we have here is this is a lock system for your GoPro remote and that fits into here, which is a built-in GoPro remote holder. Now it's got a cap on there, which has the words SP gadgets on there. Now this holder, you to remove this cap. Now this cap is if you've got a remote, then you have to remove this cap, but if you don't, um, you just leave this cap on, but to remove this cap, we simply press on this button here and simply slide up. And now we take the actual lock system here for the remote and simply slide it down here by pushing back in the button, slide down the holder and then that's it and release. And now your remote can simply fit and lock onto there. Now, this will fit your standard GoPro remotes and it might fit a couple of third-party remotes, um, the Telesun ones, 
uh, may fit on here as well. So some of the third party remotes may fit with this particular um, lock system on here. Now going through the rest of the pole, we have a nice thick rubber handle here, which is a matte finish to it and kind of grainy with the words SP on there. And it has this blue type loop here, which is, as I says, you can attach the lanyard through here. And then moving up the pole here, as you can see that this is all connected as one. So this is rubber. Now we got this kind of thick plastic and that's for the handle. And as you can see, the stem here is aluminium with a seam on one side and a seam on the other. But I'll come to that later on in the video. And at the top here, we have a nice big thumb screw so we can angle the camera at 180 degrees. So we can angle the camera and then we can lock it into, we can lock it into place like so if we want an angle. And at the very top with the words SP written across there is another angle uh, rotating head which has notches on it so it you can rotate it 360 degrees and it has notches on it so you can rotate the camera or your action camera in any degree that you want and at the very top we have this GoPro style teeth up here or fingers which has a built-in incorporated um, nut in there now this is how the pole looks when it's fully extended and as it states on the box and what the manufacturer states that it is 39 inches long now amazon states it's 40 inches but on the box it says 39. now i don't go by that measurement uh, what man manufacturers state because that's normally from the top of the um, camera or stroke mount here to the bottom of the handle and they claim that's what the length of the pole is when it's extended out now I don't go by that I go by um, at the top of the handle which will be where the literally where the remote control mount is to the end where the mount where the camera fits on now to me that's the true extension length because you lose inches with the camera up here and you lose inches when you're holding the grip so the ex to me it really extends out here and between these two inches um sorry these two points it is 29 inches it extends out to them here i've closed it down but the extend the stem here as i showed you before has a seam at the front and a seam at the back it is an aluminium um stem and one thing I straight off the bat did not like what SP Gadget has done to this. And as you can see for yourself, it uses these rubber sleeves inside for the friction because it is a friction type um, stem where it needs a locking system to lock it into place, which is normally turning the pole um, each section uh, clockwise. Now it extends into four sections one two three four it extends into but straight away as I was saying I don't like how they used white colored plastic sleeving on a black pole now to me that makes it look cheap and considering that this is from Amazon for $34.99 and people like Sandmark and um, Smarttree they tend to use the color of the pole so whatever color the pole is they use the same plastic to color that kind of pole when having that type of extension pole. Otherwise it's the locking system where you have to turn it. They go by the color of the pole. Now, if they've done that, it makes it gives it a more stealth look to it. Now, as for the top part here, as I said again, um, we have a nice big thumb screw here. So even if you've got gloves on, it is easy to turn this and to lock it into place. So that will give you an angle, which is just 180 degrees, as you can see, like so. 
and you can lock your angle in even if you've got a pair of gloves on. So that is really brilliant from SP Gadgets. Now, as for this top part here, I would say, and I'm gonna give my quick opinion on this, I like what they've done and I like this idea that this can swivel all the way around 360 degrees. That is good and it's quite notchy as you're doing it. That's nice. But the only thing is though, if you extend out this pole and you decide to turn this anti-clockwise, it will collapse the pole, which I've noticed. So if the pole is extended out and you turn this anti-clockwise straight away, you're collapsing the pole, especially the top part, especially the top section. So be aware of that when you're gonna do, when you're gonna turn the actual top part. My suggestion is is to hold the top stem and then make your adjustment like so. Otherwise, you're gonna collapse the whole pole the moment you turn it. So be aware of that. But I like that idea that you can not only um, angle the your camera towards you or away from you but you can also turn your camera in other directions to hold it which is quite good especially if you're doing some kind of action sport now another thing i've noticed um, with this is considering that this particular um, pole here is suited for action sports uh, i do notice when extended out there is a slight wobble in these sections. Not a bad one, not too bad, but it's noticeable. You do notice, which makes me think um, if you're skiing with this or doing cross country running or stuff like that, um, some extreme action sport. And if you drop this, will, this, will these sections break? Now, the chances of them bending, I know it's aluminium, but because they've got the double seams, chance of that bending probably is remote. You have to really bash this or have a serious accident to really bend these sections because they're not extended out, not very long. So, and with the seam, it does give it added strength, but because fully outstretched and this part of the unit up here is quite heavy, um, you do feel a bit of a wobble, not too much one, but there is a wobble there. Now this pole has a nice compact size when collapsed down. So this is quite suitable for your rucksack or backpack um, and to carry on on your carry-on luggage uh, it is, and to put into your suitcase. So, and the way it's so compact, it won't be a problem carrying it with us with those particular luggages with this so that's one thing i like i do like that if you haven't got um a gopro style um, remote or even the sp gadgets remote that can also fit in here you can just release this take that off and simply put the cover over there and which gives it a nice look and obviously they've tethered this to this, but the, you can remove this because it's only um, threading that's keeping this on there. So you can remove that. But I like how they've done that. And I like the handle and the, quite the thickness of this handle. It's quite a thick handle. And I've had this for a week and it's quite a nice selfie, um, selfie stick, I was gonna say, quite a nice action pile to have. It's just that you have to be aware of that slight little kind of wobbling in there. It could be just this one and the, if you was to get one, it may not do that at all. Uh, so just be aware of that. But now I know I'm gonna be asked about this. Now this is the spanner that SP Gadgets um, gives you in the box. And that is for th the GoPro style thumb screw that you get on there. And you simply match up the pattern there with the pattern of the with the thumb screw, which is like so, and you can tighten down your camera on the mount with that spanner. And the spanner does have a hole on there on the other end, so you can um, put that on a key ring or keychain, etc. So you won't lose that. 
Now, this is my two pence worth on the SP Gadgets Smart Pole 39 inch. Now, I'm going to start off with the negatives first, which ain't much. The first negative is to me is when you extend out this thing with your action camera on there, and by the way, it doesn't have to be just the GoPro camera, it could be any camera as long as it has a GoPro style mount, so your Yi cameras can go on there, your SJ ca cam cameras can, can, can go on there, tongue tied there, <laughs> can go on this, as long as it's got a GoPro style mount on there, so any kind can go on there. The only negative, uh, one of the negatives I found with this is, it is not the build quality, because the build quality is, is really, really good. It's just that when it extends out, be aware of the slight wobble in this. And as I said, it could be just a one-off with this particular one. Now, the other negative is, why did SP Gadgets put white sleeves on each of these sections, especially when they got the dots, as you can see where they're, fast, where they're fastened to the pole. They should have done that black. If they put it in a black color, it would have gave this a more stealth look and gave it a more premium look. Not to say that it gives it a cheap look, but it would have gave it a more premium look, especially for the price. So that to me is another negative. And now for the positives. First positive, I like the handle. I literally like that handle. I like the rubber, what they put on there. It's a nice thick handle. So even with gloves, you know that you're holding something with this, it's nice and thick. I like how they're supplied here, the, on the remote holder, an actual locking system for the remote. So you don't lose the remote when you fasten in there. So if you take a tumble when skiing and whatever, you ain't gonna lose the remote because some manufacturers use an actual frame and put the and you stick your remote in there and that frame could break if you take a tumble at least with this your re remote is locked into place in this so that's great also like how they give you a cover so if you don't have a remote you can simply slide this cover on there and i like how they got the words sp on there their logo on there which is quite nice another positive i like is this big thumb screw what they've provided up here so you can angle your camera um, at a hundred any at any degree within 180 degrees so even with gloves on you can feel for this um, thumb screw there and lock your camera into place which is absolutely brilliant now the next positive which was also a bit of a negative I think I mentioned it as a negative but it could, be a neg it could be a positive and a negative. Is this swivel top here? Now, don't get me wrong, I like the idea of this swivel top that you can adjust, finite adjust your camera in any direction at the top without even necessarily moving the pole, which is very good, but you have to be aware that when you're turning this and the pole is fully extended, that once you turn this to an anti-clockwise direction, it will loosen up the pole, so you have to be aware of that. Uh, but otherwise, I like how it is, and I like the notchiness of it as well when you turn it. So it is a good idea. So as I said, it could be a positive, or it could be a negative. Now, um, I may be asked, because uh, I've been asked lately, what do you think about the price of some of these action poles and what they're selling it for? Now, for SP Gadgets to sell this, particular poll for $34.99 on Amazon. I personally think it's a little bit too much, just a little bit, especially compared to the polls from um, Sandmark and Smartry, um, which I'd, I'd say they're like real premium type action polls in my case. I think this is a, just a little bit, a tad little bit, uh, overpriced, just a tad, just by about four quid. If this was 29.99, it wouldn't be too bad, it would be just right. But for 34.99, a tad little bit over, but because you're getting a spanner and you got this locking system here for your um, remote, 
Uh, here and there, to me, when it comes to the pricing of that, I just think it's a little bit tad over. Now that's my two pence worth about the SP Gadget Smart Pole 39 inch. Now if you happen to have this pole, please let us know what you think about it, because your opinions may be different to my opinions. So please leave that down in the comment section down below. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. I perfectly understand my videos are, are long, but I'd like to be thorough in my videos to save you the trouble of buying the actual item. And then if you buy it and then you say to yourself, you know what, that guy on YouTube, he was right, man. There was this about it and that about it. Shouldn't have bothered buying it. That's what I want to prevent you from doing and wasting your money. So I can understand if you give it a thumbs down in that respect. Anyway, either here or there, please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.